Hi, this is the pictures of the woozy stick. What's it going to look like if you make the woozy stick? I'm going to try to zoom in and out. That's what it's going to look like when it's made. Okay, it has a propeller. It has a nail holding the propeller. But the main thing is, if you notice, it's grooved on the top. And I'm going to go over here. This is the rubbing stick. And it's just a round stick. You rub it across the top of the woozy stick. And here's the woozy stick with the grooves you see across the top. And uh, in the front of it, it has a nail. The nail goes through the hole in the propeller, and then it holds the propeller in place. And you take the rubbing stick, that's this one here, and you rub it back and forth across the woozy stick that makes the propeller spin. And it continues to spin either clockwise or counterclockwise until you say woozy. And then it stops and goes the other direction. But the reason it does that is not because of the magic word, but because when you're holding the stick with your thumb, sideways, that your thumb is on the side here, if you move your thumb to the front or toward the back, it changes the frequency of the harmonic vibrations and it makes the propeller change its motion. Now if you continue rubbing the rubbing stick, across the top of the woozy stick, that's this one here, keep rubbing this across the top, then um, the only thing that, uh, that you're doing there is setting up a steady vibration. And that makes the propeller react. But you can't go forward because it's got something in the way. It can't come backwards because there's something in the way. The only way it can move is to spin. Okay? It spins quite nicely. And then when you move your thumb, it stops and it goes the other direction because it has to change, but it can't go faster or slower because you're not adding any extra energy. You're using the same rubbing across. The only thing you're changing is the frequency of the vibration by moving your thumb along the side of the, the stick. So remember, you hold the stick like this and you move your thumb and it makes the propeller stop and spin the other direction and you move your thumb the other way it stops and goes uh, the other direction of spin but you have to keep moving the rubbing stick that's this one here consistently across here you can't speed it up you can't push harder on it you know to make it more violent you just have to keep rubbing steadily and that's what keeps the propeller spinning but it will stop when you move your thumb a little bit. Then it will start up a new set of vibrations. Don't move your thumb back and forth because then it will get confused and not know what to do. You've got to move back and let it set up the harmonic vibrations turning a certain way and then this way. And then it stops and goes the other direction, whatever. It's kind of an a interesting little thing to do. And... Uh, you can then talk about the harmonic vibrations and things like a bridge that falls apart when the wind blows on it because it, it's just vibrating at the right frequency. And uh, there was a famous uh, video about that. The, I forget the name of the, the Narrows Bridge, but it collapsed. And so um, enough of this nonsense. Um, we're going to do another one uh, about the air car in a little bit and post this up on uh, YouTube also. Thank you for watching. This is uh, Dr. Hands on Science, James P. Louvier. And uh, you can look at getyourhandsonscience.com. You can also look at bostonmusicianscoop.com. That blog will soon be up and you can be uh, checking out music on that one. and. Uh, some of my ideas. Bye-bye now.